All right, we're back here on the Brody File from Capitol Hill. Look, we want to be clear about something here at the Brody File. We love Australia. We really do. We love the gorgeous scenery. We also dig uh, Crocodile Dundee. We love that movie. And also, we think kangaroos are adorable, pretty cool as well. And now a new entry into the Australian Very Cool File. His name, Nick Adams. That's right, he's from Australia. But he's fallen in love with America. He's now a conservative political commentator who has written two books on conservatism. The first one is called America, The Greatest Good. And the other one is called Exceptional America, A Message of Hope from a Modern Day to Tocqueville. Adams recently stopped by for a chat in our Brody File studios to discuss this and beating cancer as a little baby. Look, you're, you're a guy from Australia who has fallen in love with America. What has that been like? Explain your journey a little bit here. Down under the top over, I think, is probably the way to put it. Look, it's been a great journey, David. I've always loved America, and from a young boy, I was always fascinated by what America had to offer, compelled by its story, interested in its future, and as I got older and I went to university and I started studying America and American history and reading as much as I could to find out about this place that had really captured me entirely, I decided that it was time for me to come to America and talk to Americans about why their country fascinated me and why I've always been drawn to their country and why I feel that they are losing some of what I think has made them the greatest country in the history of the world. Mm. And so over the last three or four years I've been coming to America quite regularly mm -hmm. and I've been absolutely privileged to be able to meet so many Americans of different stripes right across the country from east to west, from north to south where I've gone and, and uh, into their living rooms, on their television sets, in studios like this one and I've spoken to them about what America means to me and what America means to the world because sometimes, David, it takes someone on the outside to remind you what you're like on the inside. Mm, and what has America kind of lost that you'd like to see uh, her, if you will, recapture here? Well, America's always been an incredibly confident country mm. and it pains me enormously that America is losing some of that confidence. It seems to have lost its self-belief and in years gone by, David, uh, American self-belief and American optimism has been almost like a force of nature and I think it's an incredibly important component of American success that America truly does believe in itself. I think the the engine of American exceptionalism is self-confidence mm. and yet America is going through what I would call an identity crisis because it has allowed itself to be uh, somewhat attacked by the agenda of the left, mm. by the agenda of the secular left who I think are promoting values and ideas and an approach that is completely the opposite of what America was founded on and what America is all about. Mm -hmm. America's always been a patriotic country, an individualistic country, a country of faith. I mean, the nation was founded on faith. Before you get out of here, uh, I am curious a little bit about your personal story, uh, maybe your faith journey. Uh, I, I, you, you beat cancer at a young age. Tell me a little bit about, about, about your personal journey here. When I was 16 months old, David, I was diagnosed with neuroblastoma, which is a form of childhood cancer. And the thing with neuroblastoma is it's an incredibly difficult cancer to diagnose. And most children that are diagnosed with neuroblastoma are diagnosed in stage four, yeah. which is the most advanced stage when the tumour has metastasized throughout the body. And I was one of those children. When I was diagnosed, I was diagnosed with stage four. Yeah and uh, any child with stage 4 neuroblastoma is given a 5% chance of survival. Only 1 in 20 children survive. Mm. And through the grace of God, I was able to defeat cancer. I had an operation, I had uh, chemotherapy, radiotherapy, and uh, you know, I, I fought. And uh, thankfully I don't remember much, but I know that enormous impact it had on my mum and dad and how it affected their lives mm. and you know in some ways it's made me the person who I am today. 
I don't believe that there's any adversity that I can't overcome. I don't believe that there is uh, any challenge that I can't conquer. Wow, good day, mate. Good day. Nice <laughs> to see you. Nice to be here. Thank you for having me.